Hey Bruce. Hey Bruce, it's Britt. Uh, so today while I was at the plant working, I had an epiphany. Uh, you know, my original plan was to take the motor, put it on the original drive plate, build an intermediate shaft with a couple belts and some pillar bearings and blah, blah, blah. And I got to thinking to myself, I said, self, why don't you just stuff the motor off in the back of the lathe and then belt it directly? You have a pulley, and so that's what I did. There's the belts back there. There's the motor sitting where the uh, electrical cabinet used to be. There's the VFD on a very, very, very temporary wooden mount. And um, so the motor pulley is four inches in diameter. The spindle pulley is seven inches in diameter. So that gives it about a 55% underdrive. So at 1180 RPM, I'm turning uh, five or 600, I think. I'm not sure. I, I did the math, but I don't remember. Anyway, I uh, haven't completely set the VFD up yet, but what I will do for you is I will push run. And that's at 20, uh, it's at 20 hertz, so it's running pretty slow. Um, I'm going to stop it because I'm slinging oil out of the back. I gotta get the, I gotta, I've got to get the cover cleaned and put back on. But uh, she's running. I mean, I don't know if the belts are going to slip down below because the motor's just sitting in there. I will probably have to address that, but I will address that soon. I uh, want to get the cover put back on, make sure that all the oil levels are topped off, and then I'll start making some test cuts, putting it under a load and seeing what happens. If it works, maybe I'll make a permanent mounting down below so that that's permanent and not just sitting down there. If it works like that, then I'm going to leave it alone. Um, I can't possibly imagine why it wouldn't. Now the only thing is is this is a five groove pulley. I have a two groove pulley on the motor so I only have two belts turning the spindle. That may not support five full horsepower at full torque. It may slip. Uh, if it does I may have to go and find a three or four groove pulley for the motor but as for right now well you just saw it. It was it was running and it's turned on. I did however um, instead of using this reversing switch like I showed you in the video I wired up and there's the wires I've got to trim down, they're too long. I wired up the forward reverse switch here. So I can actually control forward reverse and off using the original forward reverse switch. And I still have to get the apron cover back on because I'm doing some work with that. But anyway, that's it, man. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you later. Bye.